Cushing's has eight letters and there are eight important steps in the diagnosis of a Cushing's syndrome. The first step is going to be the 8 a.m. serum cortisol. Now, if this is not going to be suppressed, then you're looking at a diagnosis of exogenous steroid intake. But if this is going to be suppressed, then as a second step, you need to do three important screening tests. You have the 24-hour urine-free cortisol, the overnight dexamethasone suppression test, and also the midnight serum or salivary cortisol. Now, if any two out of these three tests are going to be positive, then we will have to confirm Cushing's with the low-dose dexamethasone suppression test. If this is suppressed, then Cushing's is going to be confirmed. So, next we need to look at the ACTH to determine if we are dealing with an ACTH dependent or an independent Cushing's. If ACTH is suppressed, that means we need to image the adrenals. But if ACTH is not suppressed, that means we will have to do a high dose dexamethasone suppression test to determine if we need to image the pituitary or if we need to look for ectopic ACTH secretion. If it is suppressed, we do MRI pituitary. If it is not suppressed, then we will have to do a CT chest to look for a source of ectopic ACTH secretion. I hope this helps. If you want to learn more about this disease, please refer to the caption below.